One of the big challenges of genetic engineering was to insert a gene exactly where you want it in, the genome of the cell. Until very recently, a discovery of how a system of bacterial genes works to target specific DNA sequences changed all that. And it's already causing a revolution in the field of genetic engineering and gene therapy. We're talking about genetic modification, or if you wanted to, gene editing. Simply explain, genetic modification is a technique to change the characteristics or give new traits that wouldn't occur in nature to a plant, animal, microorganism, or even a human. And that is done by cutting the desired genes from the DNA of one organism and adding them to another organism, or simply editing the desired genes in the genome of the cell, like that. Gene editing is done by multiple techniques, but in this video, we're gonna talk only about the CRISPR-Cas9 system, since it's the cheaper and the more efficient. So, what is the CRISPR-Cas9 system? CRISPR means clustered regularly interspaced palindromic repeats, and Cas9 means CRISPR-associated protein 9. Since the CRISPR-Cas9 system has been discovered in a bacterial immune system, it has been adapted into a powerful tool for cutting DNA at specifically targeted location in the genome of the cell. There are two components to the system. The DNA cutting protein called Cas9 and the RNA molecule known as the guide RNA. First, the system has to find in the vast genetic material the sequence of DNA that matches the sequence of its programmable guide RNA. Once found, the guide RNA enables Cas9 to unwind the DNA double helix. The RNA is designed to match and bind particular sequence in the DNA. Next, the system put two molecular blades to cut each strand of the DNA double helix. Once cut, repair enzymes seal the gap of the broken DNA, but the fixing process is error-prone and often it introduces new genetic information. This precise gene editing means you could turn a mutated gene into a new healthier version. Like for example, to edit the genes that cause hereditary diseases. And for the example of inserting new genetic code, it's done throughout the same process, but a new DNA strand is added by the experimenter as to give a new trait to the organism. Scientists are now using this CRISPR-Cas9 technology for research applications, human health, agriculture, and bioenergy. 